Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, we've got a little short project today, uh, and, and it's one that's been bugging me for a while, and I haven't figured out, I mean, you know, I've been kind of doing it by hand and faking it, at my middle name, and uh, but I want to make it more official now, and uh, and that is, is this hinge here, and we're going to bring you in a little bit closer. That hinge right there, you can see, works just fine. It's a great little hinge. But I can't get it square because there's nothing else that's square that, that I can square up to. So what I need to do is I need to find some kind of jig that I can build that'll square up this hinge and hold it uh, steady. So, and, and here's the uh, second version of this uh, wood stove, and we are in the process of putting the hinge on the bottom right now. And the hinge, by the way, is right there. Now, the problem, I have two problems. One is that if you clamp down on the, on the, on the segments, can you see that? Let's make sure you can see that. Yes, you can. If you clamp down on the segments and then weld it, the thing is so tight you can't turn it. So what I've had to do is I have to build myself a little paper washer right there just to give myself about, oh, I don't know, 15 thousandths or something like that. Just enough slop to hold it. Now, the other thing is, is that I need to somehow clamp it just like that. Otherwise, you can see how the thing, gravity kind of pulls on these babies and they have to be loose. They can't have a tight fit to them. They have to be loose because of expansion and contraction. So I need to build something that creates a clamp for this and at the same time squares it up to the table. So, and I'm not sure how to approach that just yet, but we're going to approach it. We'll be okay, back. Okay, let's have a look at this. We're just kind of come in with a big piece of strapping, maybe, what is that, 10 gauge or something like that, and cut a piece off. Let's uh, back you up a little bit here. There we go. And we're going to cut a piece off that'll give us the height and give us the squareness that we need to, to, uh, to make sure that this thing is square against the, uh, against the, the wood stove. So one way to do that, oh, and we can see the wood stove, is we're going to bring this in. This side doesn't seem to be square. Yeah, it's pretty square. Okay. Nah, it doesn't seem square, but we're going to square that up on the uh, bridge port anyhow. So, hey, instead of a pin, let's just measure it. That works. And we're looking at, well, 10 inches to there. Let's see what this looks like next to it. Now, of course, the heights are going to be slightly different here and there. We'll try to keep them as, as uh, consistent as possible, but there's, it's not always possible. Ouch. Drop that in, and we're looking at nine and three quarters. All right. Nine and three quarters. Somewhere in there. And uh, we'll put it in the saw and cut that off. Okay, so we're set up and I, I just want to come in and square up these two edges here so that we know that we're totally square with our work. Now, I've already got my head set up at about, oh, I don't know, 10 degrees or 15 degrees for another project. I'm going to leave it just set up and I put a bull nose on here and I'm just going to kiss that edge with the bull nose and it should work out just fine. Mostly because we're going to weld to this anyhow, so who cares? There you go. Lock it in place.
All right. So that's got us started. Now we want to take our hinge and bring it in and find out where it's going to end. And I guess we're going to need a pin for that, aren't we? Something like about right there and right there. Now what we want to do is just reduce this area here uh, so that when the hinge gets put on, it's actually sitting out in open space rather than rubbing up against something. So let's bring this back. And start it up. much, just a little bit. That should do the trick. Just a little bit of a reduction there, just so that this thing can float. And that looks like it's going to fit just right. So let's take this out and we've got some kind of rough edges here. So I'm going to take it over to the, to the sander and go ahead and take off those rough edges just a little bit. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay. So we've got our piece sitting here. We've got our little gap right there. We're going to put two welds at the end of this, of each one of these. And that's going to be, we're just going to kind of space it eyeball space it but everything's cold so I think we want to heat everything up just a little bit first so that we have a nice good flow of of um, weld when that takes place Okay, next step we want to do here is uh, go ahead and we're just going to cut the, the uh, remaining parts of this off someplace right around there. Okay, now we're going to square up... Uh, this place where I saw just to kind of get it squared up and also I need to open it up just a little bit to get this guy to fit it's just a bit shy so we're going to bring it in so it touches let's take it down just a little bit oh, that's not long enough we're going to need another bit All right, here we go. And that's too long for the for the uh, chuck, so we need to put a collet in. Okay, we're looking for a good close uh, close but no cigar angle. I mean, not angle, but uh, location. And uh, and I think we can just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to get my uh, my strong glasses on here so I can get right in close to center. Oh, I guess we better tighten this up, haven't we? Mm. Mm. Coming down.
That's about as eyeball as you can get it, I'd say. All right. Take the centering. Attachment out. Let's put a center drill in. Tighten it up. And drill away. Okay, so uh, what we need to do, and, and we just have some temporary bolts because they're two different lengths, uh, but what we need to do is put a cup on the inside of this so that it holds the, uh, the uh, hinge in place. So uh, I've already got one bolt in there. We're going to undo the drill bit here. Put our mill bit in. Tighten everything up and just bring it on in. And in a sense, just radius the inside of the, the tip of the bolt. That looks pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see how that came out. Yeah, just a little bit of a cup there. So we'll do that with this one here. And we pretty much got it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our uh, jig somewhat set up. And, uh, you know, we need to get a couple of bolts that are the same length. Just because I'm a very symmetric person at times. Um, and uh, we put our piece in. We snug it down. Make sure it's snug and it's straight and it's level so let's take it over to the uh to the uh, wood stove and see what that's going to look like i'm not sure if you can see it too well but it's exactly where we want it to be this is squared up let's go down to the table here that's squared up on the table this is squared up here so then all I need to do is weld this center piece in and then come back in and weld the back pieces in. And uh, so, you know, we got what? We got about, oh, an hour into this little project. And that's going to pretty much give us the ability to get that hinge square every time for however long. You know, I mean, hey, the next hundred years. Well, of course, hundred years. Okay, the next 10 or 15 years. All right, well, we got that project in place, and we're, uh, we got it squared up, and all we have to do is just weld this centerpiece, and this thing's ready to go. And every time I make one of these, I just have to put that up there, and I don't have to struggle with it anymore, because it has been a struggle in the past. And guess what I got in my face? A cattail! Ha! Anyhow, uh, this is Nick Collier. This was a nice little simple, maybe a one hour project for me, probably about 10 minutes for you. So, um, hey, check in, check in often. I always got something going on. Nick Collier signing out.